Hi friends, welcome back to Queen Beans Collectibles. So as you can see, I am quite, quite, quite excited because we have an entire box of Hamtaro Remence to open together. Woo! -oh! I've been dying to get my hands on this set. I could not be more excited to open it with all of you. I think this is gonna be an absolute blast and there are obviously some crafts. Um, and this is a display as well, because we did get a full set. Um, but I am just so very excited to open these with you guys. I believe this becomes a room. But here are all the lovely boxes we have to open. So let's get set up and let's get into it. Okay, guys, we have eight beautiful boxes before us for the Hamtaro room. Now again, at the end, I will try to build this so that it actually looks like this little house display here. No guarantees on if it's going to actually look good or not. Um, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay, are we so excited? I've been like staring at these just waiting to open them. And it, they're all so beautiful that I almost don't want to open them, but also I do. Also I do. Okay. Let's get into it, guys. Let's do it. Here is our first box. Now, just so you know what they look like as we go along, there are eight in total, which are the ones sitting right before us. And here's everything we get. Disclosures and loveliness on the back. Stickers on the top, basically showing that they were not tampered with. So we got a full set. So here we go. Let's take a gander. I really wish I would have grabbed scissors. That was a regrettable decision. But that's okay, I need to stop hoarding boxes and things, so we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Just gonna rip it open. Urgh. Maybe. Wow, these are some stickers, let me tell ya. Holy guacamole, okay. Urgh. Yeah, we're gonna get scissors for the next one, cause that was insane. Okay. Wow, oh, this is a big one. Okay, what we get, what we get, what we get. Whoops, me dropping things. Okay, we have a refrigerator, we have some flour, eggs, a pot, a little pancake, a spatula, and some eggs. Is this another one with no tear strips? Why did I think Remans had tear strips? Uh, okay, let's go get the scissors. And don't worry guys, we're gonna get the proper ones. We got the cinema roll scissors. All right. Let's get into this, shall we? So I'm just going to cut these open and we'll look at them a little bit closer. I can already tell that I'm loving this. So first and foremost, let's look at the little refrigerator. It does open. Very sturdy. Cute. Easily opens, forewarning but I really like this piece. Now you guys are gonna have to let me know as we're going along, you know, would you prefer I show you things this way? How do you want me to keep the filming so you can see what's going on? You tell me we're gonna make it happen. Okay, let's keep going to our accessories. We have the most adorable bag of flour. We have, oh, it feels like a real egg carton. That is crazy. A little carton of eggs. A carton for eggs, I should say. Oh, and there goes an egg. Okay, we got our little pan, which I know you guys probably can't see it, but Ham Taro's face is in there. We're gonna get the little baby Ham Taro out of here as well. So cute. I love that the spatula even has a little Ham Taro face on it. That is really cute. Sorry, it's really hard to get that to show. And then we have our two little eggs, which are so tiny and precious, and they just roll around. And we could probably put them in our little egg carton. Ta-da! Oh, that was really cute. Okay, so our first one is very adorable. I know it's not supposed to go in that way, but I want to be able to see its face, so be it. All right, super duper cute. And that was our first one. And then I had a little, oh, it's a paper craft. Oh, but it got all squooshed. 
Okay, so it is kind of squooshed, unfortunately. This one's called Let's Cook. And there is a little menu here that we can try to cut out and save. And same with like a little paper placemat. Oh, that's such a bummer that this is so squished. I'll have to try to flatten these out. Let's see if we can't make it happen anyways. Okay, that's our first box. So let's continue. Let's go to box number two. And this time I'm going to be a little bit more intelligent about it. Just a little bit. Can't make any guarantees. Here we go. Scissors. What a wonderful thing. Okay, there's also a little pamphlet that we're going to put over there. Now, see, that one's not squished. Okay. Oh, maybe I squished it. Oh, that's embarrassing. Let's not talk about that. Okay. Looks to me like we have some kind of a slide, perhaps. So let's find out what is in here. Again, really wish there were tear strips. So sorry, did not realize that before. Hopefully you guys don't mind me having to cut these out. Figured it's more of an experience together. So here's the slide. I really love it. I think it's absolutely adorable. It is double-sided. It has a slide on this side, stairs on the back, flat on the bottom. Nice, sturdy plastic. Very, very nice piece. Love it, love it, love it. What else do we have? We have some sort of stickers that I'm going to probably have to figure out where those go. I can probably figure that out. And then it looks like there's a teeny tiny little book. Does it open? No. Okay, so the book does not open, but it is very cute and like spiral bound. That's really cute. That's a nice little book. Okay, let's keep going. Oh yeah, these are gonna get lost. Okay, we have teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny crayons. that go in this teeny, teeny, tiny crayon box. So we have our tiny crayon box. We have the top and the bottom. Put that together. You got your box of crayons. Does not stay shut very well, for a warning. But we are gonna display our crayons in here, which will be very, very, very cute. And I'll show you guys these at the end a little bit better, hopefully. Um, but hopefully you're you're enjoying the ride with me so far. I'm hoping this angle is also better for filming. But you guys are welcome to tell me. I take the criticism and we go with it. Because all I want is for these videos to be fantastic. You all may have also noticed, or not noticed, because maybe you're not paying attention to it. Who can blame you? I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. I am at 996, so I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who took the couple seconds to hit that button, because it makes a difference, for real. Might feel silly to you, but to us on the other side of the camera, it means a lot, so thank you. So let's keep going, enough of that cheesy nonsense. So what we're gonna do next, we are going into the third box. We're gonna cut that open. Here we go. I thought I cut it open. It was a lie. Okay. Oh, and I forgot the craft in the last one. Darn it. Okay. So here's our little craft. Oh, I bet those things are covers for like your little journal or whatever. And then this one has like a little music book that we can cut out. And these are really cute. Okay, then we got another one in this one. So let's not miss that one. This one's called Snack Time. The other one was Let's Play Together. This has a cute little placemat and some plates, and they are double-sided. So you'll definitely have to experiment with those as well. Now, let's get into this. Ooh, and we have a little baby, Hemtara. How exciting. Okay. Thank you, Cinnamon Roll Scissors, for doing your job. Let's try this. What if I do this? Does this work? I don't think it's the worst idea I've ever had. Okay, so I just basically tipped it upside down and it did just fine. So that's what we're gonna keep doing. So we have our little baby Hamtaro table. Oh, it's so cute and detailed. Love it, love it, love it. Nice, nice, nice plastic. Okay, we got a little baby Hamtaro. So little, so little. You can sit on the table. Oh, you can't really see him. Let me do that. That's a little better. Okay. Oh, these are cute. So we have like a little plate and a little ham taro pudding, I'm going to presume. That is very cute. And it does go all the way around, by the way, in case you're wondering. 
and it looks super cute on its little plate. I know, I'm sorry, it's really not super easy to show you, but oh, what a cutie cutie. Okay, I guess we can't have Hamtaro on the table. There won't be any room for the food. Fine, Hamtaro, you can go on the slide. I can see that you want to. Okay, and then we have this really cute Hamtaro cup, which I wish they made in real life because I'd buy it almost immediately. And then we have our lovely little tea to go inside of that. Ta-da! Now we have a full cup of tea or juice or whatever it is. And then we have our teeny tiny spoon with a sunflower on the end of it. Sorry, again, I know it's not super easy to see it. There we are. I'm assuming to stir what is likely the tea. And that one is snack time. So I think that is super duper cute. Woo, hello camera, where are we doing? Okay, where are we doing? Whoa, I have forgotten how to speak entirely. All right, so we are three boxes in. Let's open up the fourth. Let's see what we get next. Hope you guys are enjoying this along with me. I've never opened a full case of anything. Um, so this is really cool. So let's get those scissors again from our good pal Cineroll. And let's get into it. Maybe. Ooh, they really seal those things good, huh? Okay, and there's a card we don't wanna miss. All right, we've got I Love Ham Taro. Uh, looks like a little window, perhaps, I think. Oh! These look like little picture frames. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some experimenting on that as well. All right, more to come, but let's get into this one. Now we're gonna try the same method as last time where I just kind of cut and dumped. Although this one has kind of an awkward shape in the middle, so that might not work as well as I'd like it to. Let's just keep going. Yeah, this one in the middle is going to be tricky, isn't it? Because it's like straight up sealed into the... Oh, is there a hole in it? Well, hello, hole. That worked out just fine for me. All right. So, this one has a little book. Very cute. It has a ham taro bench. Also extremely cute. Same materials, same nice quality. Why is my camera not zooming in today? My goodness, it's irritating. Okay, we got our little bench. We got our little book. There is decorations for the book, which will be cute once we get those on there. Ooh, and there's even like writing to go on the inside. So that will be fun. All right, and then we got a little bijou. Look at her, she's so pretty. So pretty, I love Bijou so much. She is my favorite from Hamtaro because she has blue bows in her hair and blue is my favorite color because I'm weird. But I think she's adorable. She's literally half the reason I wanted this set. And she comes with this tiny, tiny, tiny little blue present that does in fact open. And it's adorable. Oh, look at her, look at her. Oh wait, I gotta get it to focus again so it's not gonna cooperate. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh, so cute. Love, 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 Okay, let's keep going. I'm loving this little set. This is so cute. Okay, we are officially at the halfway. We're actually, we're about to go over the halfway point. So let's open up box number five, Ooh, which is very heavy. Wonder what's in here. If this camera doesn't start focusing, I am gonna get angry. Okay, let's get in here. No idea how old the set is, by the way, but the minute I saw it on Amazon, I said, that is mine. Thank you so much. Oh, even the scissors aren't doing it. Oh my God. <clears throat> this is crazy. This is crazy. This should not be this intense. Okay, well, I see why it was heavy. Now we have a bed. So we have sleep in the bed. And we have what looks like a little floor mat, which is double-sided. So let's see what's in the bed. All right. Uh, yeah, I really do love remints. I just, displaying them is kind of tough. So I really try to only stick to things that I like and obsessed with. 
Oh, you can pull this off, by the way, apparently. Let's see. Oh, you can pull everything off. Okay, well, that's a fun experiment. So apparently the bed comes apart. That's cool to know. Put the mattress on and then put the blankets on. Whoops. So there's our little bed. And then it looks like we have a pillow that looks like a sunflower seed. And that is absolutely adorable. Oops, and then I dropped it. Okay, and then we also have, and forgive me, it's been a while since I've been on my Hamtaro kick, so I don't remember all the characters' names offhand, but we have some of the other characters in the form of a slipper. Look at how cute they are. Hello, so cute. Oh, come on, thank you, thank you for focusing, thank you so much. Okay, so cute. And then a little tiny sleeping mask as well. Should look very cute on the bed. Oh, if the bed wants to get into the frame. Okay, oh, sorry for the camera today, gosh. It's just gonna fight me tooth and nail. All right, so let's break down these other couple boxes. And then we're gonna get into the home stretch here. We only have three left to go. And there's so much tape on these boxes. And it's strong tape. All right, let's keep a going. Number six, here we are. Thank you, Cinema Roll Scissors. Okay. Pull out our set. Pull out. Wow! Okay, that was bad camera angle. My bad. So sorry, guys. Dropping everything. Oh, are these supposed to be like little plushies? Instead of... Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we got Decorate My Room. Come on. And we have some kind of pictures and a placemat or a floor mat. And let's get into our pieces here. Alright. Here we go. Let's dump them out. Alright. So we have what to me looks like a dresser that does not open. Oh, <coughs> because I'm a blind buffoon. Okay. So this is the front, kind of like a, a dresser, sort of a gig. Oh, come on, focus. In we go. Plenty of storage, very, very cute. Let's try to keep everything in the frame. And we have another little plush that's like very similar to the little Hamtaro one. I think these actually look really cute on the bed. So they might end up making their way there. I think that, that'd be cute. Oh, I see. We got a picture frame, and these are the pictures we can choose to put in it. I love that both of them are Hamtaro. Beach is like, no, no pictures of anyone else. It's Hamtaro only. So funny. Okay, so that's really cute. Oops. I can't get my hands to cooperate to save my soul today. Okay, and the last thing that come with, came with this one is a little teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny light. Now this one is going to be a struggle to get you guys to be able to see it. Oh, come on. Look at this sweet little baby. That's so cute. And then I get hung on this little tiny hook. And now we have a light. Ta-da. I'm sorry, this is a really hard one to show you guys. But it's really cute. I love that it like dingly dangles. It's really cute. Okay, so here's what we're looking at right now. Love, love, loving this set. And we have two more to go. So, which one, which one, which one? This one. Okay, here we go. I forgot what box we're on. Uh, seven. Here we go. Let's get those cinnamon roll scissors going. I'll try a little harder this time since last time I didn't do such a good job. Not doing much better this time either. Alright. Let's get everything out of here. Alright, so the next one is called Have a Break. 
And we have, I don't know what those are. Oh, okay, this one's for the TV. So we have something to watch on the TV. And then this one is also the TV. I think it's also the TV, or it's a choice. Oh, it's telling me it's this one. Oh my goodness, some days I swear, I swear I have such a goof. Um, I could do this one or this one, I see now. Okay, that'll be cute. Oh, that's, I like that a lot. Okay, let's get into it. We've got plastic airyware. Oh, I didn't know once you cut it, it would just keep going. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's get all our pieces out. Come on. I know you don't want to live in this plastic forever. Come on. All right, here we go. Oh, how cute. So we get to label the milk ourselves, which is going to be absolutely dangerous. I'm going to struggle with that horrendously because um, we have a little blank milk that I need to put that on. You can only imagine how that's going to go. Um, we have the cutest little butter dish. It goes like this. You can't even see the details on the bottom. That's so cute. And then we have a nice little blue plate. And what I think is some kind of like pancake or dessert goes on the plate. Very cute. Let's keep making it so you guys can actually see these things. And then the TV, which is also very, very cute. Nice and sturdy. Shouldn't be too hard to get the picture in there. And then we have a little tiny cup and maybe milk, I would think. This one looks a little beat up on the end, so I think we're gonna put that side down. Oh, it's not gonna look good that way, is it? Uh oh, now it's stuck. Hmm, I've made a mistake. It's stuck. Oops, it's our little secret. He. Okay. And then don't forget the fork for your pastry, of course, which also has a sunflower on it. Oh, and I hit the butter upside down. I'm such a goof. Okay, so the butter's actually supposed to be like this because you can see the butter in there. And then there's a lid, butter lid. Very cute, very obvious. No idea how I missed that. And the milk, which we will work on at the end. Okay, we have one more to go. Here is again where we are at so far. Let's get into the eighth box and see what we have. Let's get this open. Now, I don't really know what we're missing because I wasn't paying that close attention to it. But from the looks of it, we should be getting a Hamtaro figure, I think. I think. Well, we will never know because I can't get past the tape. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Just me and my cardboard messes over here, you know? All right, so this one is called Delicious Seeds. Oh, camera, come on. Looks like maybe some kind of like floor runner and a plate. Oh, no, it's a calendar. That's cool. Oh, and it could stand up. Shut up. If I can get that to work, I'm, I'm going to be excited. Hamtaro calendar, that's really cute. Okay, and let's get these. Oh my goodness, I was able to tear it the whole time. Well, that is incredibly embarrassing. Let's just not talk about it. Let's just not, not talk about how I missed that completely. And I have no idea how I missed that completely, but tis what it is what it is. Okay. Whoa, 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 we've got remnants flying. Okay, so we have some little cushion. I am assuming this is Ham Tarl's little bum bum, which is a very, very cute. We have, uh, oh, a flower pot, which I did not realize was separate from the flower. But it's as easy as plopping that in there. And there we go. That's very cute. I also love sunflowers. So Hamtaro plus sunflowers plus bijou. Oh, it's everything to me. And then we have this little tiny, what I assume would be like somewhere where you keep like sunflower seeds, a little tiny lid. It's also very cute. And then of course, last but not least, we had a little ham taro hiding. Hee hee hee. So cute, love ham taro. All right guys, so we've opened this all up. Let me just try to get this displayed really pretty and uh, we'll take a look at it a little bit closer. Be right back. Alrighty guys, this is where we ended up. So I was able to do a majority of the paper crafts and the stickers. I will say the milk probably is not perfect, but I did my best. 
And here is the setup. So I need to get it finalized and find somewhere I want to put it so I can get everything where I want it to go. But basically here is everything we got today. I had an absolute blast open these up with, opening these up with you guys. I hope you did as well. Please make sure to comment on my previous videos because on the next one we are announcing the giveaway winners. So if you are interested in a giveaway, please comment on any of my last four or five videos. That way I can get you into the prize wheel. I will then mail you your giveaway gifts for free once you hand me your address. And you can enjoy some of these miniatures as well. Thank you again to everyone who has joined me for this video, who has subscribed. You guys are the best. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!